Welcome to the 2023 game of Georgia versus Florida, a simulation in Retro Bowl, as we try to predict how this game will go. It's a rainy day in Florida, as Georgia and Florida have their annual rivalry game. Florida's gonna start with the ball, and Mertz is looking to throw and gets almost gets sacked, has to throw the ball away. Second and 10. Georgia's showing a lot of pressure. And Mertz throws it and gets to the receiver. And stiff arm gets a first down. Just past the 50. Florida midfield now. And it's going to be another pass. And caught for a nine yard gain. Florida now with a handoff is going to break a couple of tackles and get it down to the 33 yard line. That's going to be another first down. Mertz trying to find somebody open, gets it to the receiver and another first down after a few missed tackles. Gets pushed out of bounds at the 16 yard line. Mertz looking to throw again. Been successful so far in this game and it's going to be a complete pass for a first down. Three yards short of a touchdown. Florida moving the ball very easily against Georgia on this first drive. Georgia showing some pressure here. And doesn't matter. Florida runs it in easily right through the middle. Georgia showing pressure around the edges and leaves a gap in the middle. And Florida will score the first touchdown of the game. And Florida kicking the extra point, and it is good. Georgia now with the ball is going to return it and get it to the 40-yard line. Good return by Georgia. Carson Beck looking to find somebody open. Gets it to Brock Bowers. He's going to run it and going to get the first down a lot more. 19 yards, almost down to the 40. Florida lined up to rush. Georgia attempting to run it and is not going to get past the line of scrimmage. Carson Beck is going to have to scramble here and try to run for it. And he's going to get tackled after a three yard gain. Third and 10, uh, sorry, third and seven. And Georgia finds themselves in third down situation where they need to convert. And it's going to be a passing play by Beck to McConkey. And that is going to be an easy first down, down to the 21 yard line. It's going to be a handoff to the running back, and it is going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage. Georgia really struggling to run the ball. Going to go back to passing here with Carson Beck. And going to throw to the middle to Brock Bowers, who breaks the tackle, then gets tackled after the first down. So Georgia will have it at the 10. It's actually not first and goal. There's a little bit of room here, but it doesn't matter. Beck gets the touchdown with a pass to Brock Bowers, of course. And that right there is going to tie up the game uh, as long as Georgia gets the extra point, which they do. So 7-7, seven to seven, Georgia, Florida tied. We are getting close to the end of the first quarter. Florida, with the ball, is going to hand it off and try a running game, a running play, I should say. It's going to get it out to the 47-yard uh, line, a five-yard gain. Second and five is going to be another handoff, and uh, this time it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to get to the line of scrimmage, maybe even lose half a yard. Mertz now looking to throw on third down. It's going to be a shorter throw, and it's good to the tight end, and it's a first down for eight yards. And that will end the first quarter. Florida now in the second quarter. It's a throw by Mertz to the tight end, and it's going to be 14 yards and another first down. Florida having a lot of success with the air so far in this game. Surprising. Not expected as Florida's main strength is their running game and have actually struggled with passing all season. But not as much against this Georgia defense surprisingly and another pass by Mertz for a 21 yard gain and Florida now is ready to score again they're knocking on the door of the end zone and with another pass it's a touchdown pass for seven yards and Florida answers again going up by a touchdown Florida with the extra point and it is no good they missed the extra point so 13 to 7 and Georgia will have the ball again two minutes left in the first half let's see if Georgia Bulldogs can answer that last touchdown by Florida and they did a good job with that play getting some of the momentum back 
A long play there on first down, getting to midfield. A dangerous throw, batted down by the defense, could have been intercepted. Hand off to the running back who loses three yards and Georgia continuing to struggle on the ground. Georgia looking to pass. Could be sacked. Brock Bowers gets sacked before he can throw it. And Georgia is going to be forced to punt the ball. And Florida now returning it to the 32 yard line. Mertz looking to throw, finds a receiver wide open, and Georgia missing a couple of tackles, and he, he gets the first down at the 45-yard line. Florida handing it off to their running back, and it's going to be a two-yard loss. Both teams struggling to run the ball today. And this time it's going to be to the other side, another handoff to the running back, this time for a one-yard loss. Both teams just not having any consistency in their run game, having to stick to the passing game and incomplete on third and 12 and florida now will have to punt the ball both defenses coming up with a a good stop georgia now returning it out to the 24 yard line carson beck looking to throw gets it to a wide receiver almost the first down not quite inches away it's gonna be second and inches so i'm gonna hand off to the running back and he will get the first down and about a yard Another handoff this time to the running back again, and uh, this time it's a good run. It's going to get to the first down, 10 yards, almost to midfield. Georgia finding a little bit of rhythm with this running game all of a sudden. Can we get four yards with that carry? And it's going to be a long field goal attempt by Georgia, 64 yards. Very unlikely, but it is no good. Had the had the distance, just not the accuracy. Georgia will start with the ball in the second half now. And they are going to try a passing play on the very first play of the second half. And it will be dropped by the Georgia receiver. That should uh, not have been dropped. That was an easy throw and catch. A loss of one yard on the second play as they try to run it. This has been a very low scoring game so far, possibly due to the rain. It's going to be a catch, and Georgia already finding themselves having to punt on fourth and four. And Florida now find themselves with an opportunity to extend the lead. And it's going to be a handoff this time uh, for a half a yard gain. And another handoff this time. It is going to be a first down. No, just short of the first down. Florida's running back gets stopped inches away. And it's going to be another handoff, and no, this time drop for a loss. So Florida already having to punt. Both defenses seem to have figured out the offenses, and nobody can seem to have any success moving the ball down the field. Georgia has it at a good position. A long throw by Brock Bowers, not by Brock Bowers, by Carson Beck to uh, Brock Bowers, and that will be a big first down. Look at that long pass there, and he gets tackled after a huge gain. Georgia now with some of the momentum, and sacked. Carson Pett gets sacked on first down, making it second and 16. Georgia trying the passing uh, game again after struggling with a running game, and that's going to bring up third and 16. Important third down for both teams, and incomplete, so another punt. Uh, actually a field goal attempt last one didn't go so well as far as accuracy this time it is still no good again to the left the second time the field goal kicker has hooked it to the left florida now looking to pass and it's going to be incomplete thrown too low by mertz hand off to the running back and it is going to get nowhere about a one yard gain and brings up third and nine. Both teams struggling offensively all of a sudden. It seemed to have a quick start and then just kind of hit a brick wall. This time a first down. Oh, and this is a huge play. This might be a touchdown by Florida. And no, he's not going to make it, but a huge gain, 35 yards. Florida having the explosive plays they need to get the momentum going, get a little bit of rhythm offensively. And all of a sudden, the dynamic of this game has changed. Crowd's going wild. Florida fans feeling a little bit of hope again as their offensive has a little spark. 
And it's gonna be another pass. Florida sticking with the running game. That was a dangerous throw, almost intercepted by Georgia. Uh, this time it's gonna be a handoff to the running back and gonna be tackled after a one yard gain. Nine seconds left in the half. Another handoff, and this goes nowhere. A two yard loss. So Florida is gonna be held to a field goal attempt. And Florida now kicking the field goal, and it is good. Bounces off the left upright, but it is good. So Florida now extending their lead, 16 to seven. Georgia hoping to find some rhythm offensively and try to get back in this game. They're gonna be forced to throw as the running game has not been successful for them, and they get seven yards of that passing play. Both teams with all three timeouts. We are in the fourth quarter. Glad McConkey there with the uh, catch gets out of bounds. And another first down for Georgia. Carson Beck throwing it over the top, but no one open. Too much coverage. Second and 10 now. Batted down by that Florida defense. Third and 10. This is a huge third down for Georgia. They need this to get back in this game. And it's going to be overthrown, but still caught by uh, the receiver. Going to break a few tackles to get a 17-yard gain and a first down. So Georgia's still alive on this drive. And uh, they have a lot of hope here that they can get back in this game and get some momentum. Another big pass by Brock, uh, uh, Carson Beck to Brock Bowers. Georgia to continue to pass as they found some success and rhythm with the passing game. And there's another big first down, 15 yards. Georgia at the 15 yard line. Georgia looking to throw, but no one open. Here comes a tight throw and it is incomplete. Throwing a little bit short by Carson Beck. It would've been difficult to make that catch anyway with the coverage. And uh, thrown away or either that or way under thrown. It's hard to tell what the intention was there by Carson Beck. And sacked. That is the last thing that Georgia needed. Now they have a big decision here. It's fourth and 16. And Georgia is feeling the pressure. Is going to go for it on fourth and 16. And will not get it. They're an inch away. This might need to be reviewed. That was close. And Florida now just trying to hold on, run the clock out. That was a huge stop for Florida. Wow. That was probably the ball game right there. Florida now on 39, just trying to run the clock out and not make a mistake. Is gonna get the first down. No, no they're not gonna get the first down. It's gonna be fourth and inches. Do they go for it and try to run the clock out? Or do they punt? Looks like they're gonna punt. Probably a wise decision being so close to their own end zone. Florida now not having much of a chance, but they're gonna do their best with three timeouts. And just overthrown by Carson Peck. That would have been an amazing completion, but just overthrown. Caught this time, timeout taken, only 13 seconds left. And it uh, looks like Florida, unless something crazy happens, is gonna walk off with an amazing upset victory in this game. And Carson Beck looking, no one really open. This uh, not gonna get anywhere, one second left and the game is gonna be over. There's no time to score twice in this game. Georgia just trying to make the score a little bit closer if they can. And they get the touchdown pass, but it won't matter because Florida is gonna win this game regardless. As the time goes down to zero, and Georgia will just kick the extra point. And it's good. Florida wins 16 to 14 in this epic rivalry. Wow, what an amazing game. Came down to the, the smallest little stop at the end there, just inches away from being a totally different outcome. What an amazing game.